Got to face uh, Mastery, I believe. Master is a way to refer to a younger person, if yes. I am not mistaken. So, young, young Master E. Yeah. You ain't you ain't playing with the boys no more. You're dealing with a man, and his name is Mr. E. Yeah, this is... I'm going to go ahead just from, you know, how this matchup typically plays out. going to be a little bit rough for DDD once he gets into disadvantage state. But pretty strong start, actually. I was going to say 64 uh, to 30 right now. Oh the, my! Oh, oh and you man! See the, you see the head shakes? You hate to see it. Hate to see it. Just was not ready for that tech. Get got, says Mr. E. Yes, I am going to be doing death grips references all throughout the set. And we's uh, just trying to gain some sort of traction in this set. It's oh. going to be easier said than done. Just especially how technically sound Mr. E is. Especially, I mean, with what many people consider to be the most well-rounded character in the game in Lucina. Oh, for sure. It emphasizes uh, it emphasizes clean gameplay. It emphasizes uh, technical aptitude. And Wow, the picking up the Gordo from behind. Yeah, and you know what? Being able to smack a Gordo uh, into the face of King DDD with your sword, not a bad trait to have. Yeah, the disjoint there is really going to help in that part of the matchup. And it's going to be interesting. You mentioned the, uh, the technical play of E. I was watching him do a money match on stream earlier and had a an absolute ridiculous amount of parries, and I'm curious if that was from a knowledge of the other player or just his own uh, setup in the game itself. Good down smash there from Weezer there. Gonna close it out, a little bit of a taunt there. Gets the, the, the casual hold down in center stage. However, he needs to get back to the stage and... You're gonna get um, up smashed. You're gonna get up smashed really hard. Yeah. Oh, the oh. armor, we're out. Beautiful, and Weezer, I mean, somehow, surviving that. Uh, and he, uh, obviously the, okay, so the Nair's being thrown out from Mr. E. Weezer doing a halfway decent job of negotiating the uh, the aerial offense of Mr. E, e, all things considered. And this is a losing matchup for DDD. I don't think this can be, uh, this can be debated. Oh! However, yeah. I think, I mean, DDD obviously another one of those scratch off Smash characters where he got a little bit better from four into ultimate, but still not to the point where he really can compete with the, the, bi the big boys and the big right. girls in the top tiers. Uh, I mean, DDD, no doubt, is viable, but at the same time, is he viable? Oh my goodness! I think that, I think DDD is on a mission to shut me up because say, that was fly. I would say we're looking at a point where viability doesn't even come into play when you're getting reads like that. Really good setup, but all zeros across the board right now on the last stock. We'll see how Mr. E can respond to this little bit of adversity here in this wave or this round two winners. Indeed, and just like that, I mean. Janus the Weezer for uh, evening things right up. Mr. E, of course, was here just a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, in fact, and uh, came out as the winner of the Forge, beating Shoyo James in Grand Finals. So oh, he's found man. success in this building before, but uh, the competition here today, world class to say the least. It is a PGR event. Yeah, I so. got to the C tier at the last minute, and oh. that is going to be it. And he Damn, and after what an early stock loss for Weezer too. Brings that all the way back and you know you see a little bit of a, a little bit of a head shake there from Weezer looking pretty feeling pretty good. Yeah, and that hammer, when it comes down, it comes down hard, but sometimes all you need is uh all you need is intestinal fortitude and just a little bit of guts. Yeah, that's an avalanche. Yeah, you're telling me and man oh man, it is tough to stop an avalanche. Go ahead and try it at home. Don't, don't actually try that at home. And Weezer will go up 1-0 on one of New York's finest in Mr. E. Yeah, shout out to the Stinger, man. Stinger splash in the corner. Closing that out. And you got to wonder, uh, obviously you talk about how Mr. E won the Forge recently over Show Your James, another one of the great, great players from Tri-State. This is probably going to be the biggest upset of the day we've seen so far if Weezer can pull this off. And we have seen, uh, we have seen DDDs have their struggles in this game before. I mean, uh, one of the better DDDs in New Jersey, some might say the best, Adamus, who made the uh, the PR at yes. number 11. He wound up uh, bowing out early on in this tournament. If you, wanna, if you want an indication of just how stacked this tournament is in terms of talent, we have Jersey PR players just bowing out in pools. It's a little nuts as we go to Smashville for game number two. Something tells me Mr. E kind of favors the stage. Yeah, we saw it as a game one uh, strike, so not really surprised to see him go back here. A uh, little bit of shenanigans in game one, honestly. So I, obviously, it's not the stage itself that's affecting it, but you know, Weezer looking really, really confident with his setups right now, just getting every Gordo to connect to. And that's something that can start to get under your skin a little bit as a player, is when you start getting hit by these Gordos, something that you feel like you know you should be able to swat away every time, and you know, you're just struggling to do so. 
and he's been struggling with uh, a little bit more than that, but certainly one of the uh, one of the ways that DDD can approach safely, and uh, perhaps the great equalizer in the equation of uh, Lucina and that evenly distributed uh, sword. It's been a really good example of stage control for uh, you know coming in as a as a new player if you're watching this. It's just how Weezer's really just stood in center and just used the effectiveness of the DDD Gordos to really control a lot of space. He's kept uh, Mr. E off stage for quite a bit of time, but the reversal there into the back air. Gonna be enough to take that first stock. And let's be real here, that was Weezer getting just a little impatient. Mr. E, I mean, he's having fun with this, don't get me wrong, but he's uh, he's just as serious a competitor as anyone else and just as capable of taking big games and big situations as any player here. It's just a matter of whether or not Weezer can, uh, can hold court in center the forced stage. forced SD, I like it a lot. There you go, Weezer evening things up. And he eventually did that, but uh, it is, it is interesting to see, I mean, the contrast between the two. Mr. E is being a little bit more careful. Weezer, I mean, he's playing like a man with nothing to lose. Yeah, I think there's a pretty nuanced play from either side, honestly. You're seeing a lot of just casual hits and a really good spacing, I feel like, has really been benefiting Weezer. Uh, you've seen him yeah. use these F-tilts at ledge when he's not going for the other options, and it's been really good for him. So I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm honestly surprised that he hasn't utilized Jab just a little bit more, but frankly, he hasn't really needed to and hasn't been in the, the position to. Mr. E has not really given him ample opportunity to, uh, to space that out. He's been keeping to the air, as is uh, Lucina's tendency. And this is as even as even can be. The neutral air will make yeah. me eat my words real quick. And, oh my! The Gordo right to the face. That can't possibly tickle Broza. No, not a good one for sure. And it's been really interesting to see the uh, kind of getting a little bit shaky here in these neutral exchanges. You see him get it from Legend, immediately shield, and try to jump out of it. And this is where he's going to get a lot of ground back, is his ability to just ledge trap. Both of these both of these characters are good at it, but I feel like Mr. E specifically excels at it oh as, a Luc my. as a Lucina main. And Mr. E, there you go. He had Weezer in disadvantage, and that's going to do it for that second stock. Mr. E, this is a... Uh, this is pretty much even, however, especially if Weezer, all he needs is one big hit because that hammer, it comes down hard. Yeah, definitely packs a punch. We'll see how he's able to try to combat this neutral space here now that either character's on uh, their separate sides. The low back air is going to be enough to do it, and now we're going to see a last stock situation. We saw the same thing in game one where it was 0-0 across the board. We'll see if Weezer can continue this winning trend. Well, he'll have to stop getting hit by that sword of Lucina. This is a lot of whiff punishing oh. being done by Mr. E. Could have seen a lot bigger punish there too, but taking just the safe damage of Dancing Blade. Weezer trying to be aggressive like a bull. What else can Mr. E do but play Matador? Sitting at 129% is Weezer in dire straits right now. Yeah, hasn't even gotten a hit in on this second stock, or this third stock, excuse me. And just swatting away. That's something he really wanted to do from the initial gameplay here is just really just get these Gordos out of oh, here. Oh, and the Dolphin Slash will do it. Mr. E, he ties it up at one. And I feel like that was uh, a lot of that was Weezer just getting a little antsy. Now, this is a, now this is tough for, uh, for DDD in many respects, just in terms of, I mean, yes, DDD can move better than in uh, Smash 4. But it's not that's not saying much. Playing DDD in Smash 4 is like trying to walk through the Amazon rainforest in snowshoes. But yeah. This is a it's a little it's a little different in this game. Obviously, you're a little bit more mobile. You have a few more options at your disposal, but you're still having t uh, a tough time dealing with uh, dealing with these swords, especially uh, such a well-rounded character like Lucina who does a little bit of uh, does a little bit of everything well. Uh, what does Weezer have to do? What, how does he have to adjust his gameplay? Well, I feel like the biggest thing he's going to have to do is work around uh, East uh, keep away game. Uh, when he was in when he was in advantage state, Mr. E would really just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and and it really used the length of the sword to really create enough space to where he didn't have to worry about a lot of stuff. He had enough time to react to Gordos, had enough time to react to DDD trying to come in. You mentioned the fact that he is still a much much more slower character than Lucina. So, you know, being able to stretch his time as an advantage is going to be really important. We're seeing him pausing a little bit here on the CSS screen, looking at Duck Hunt. I'll be curious to see if this is going to be the answer here. Uh, we do There's see him go to Unova as his last stand here in game three of the set. Indeed, perhaps trying to get something off of that, uh, off of that upward recovery. Who knows? Maybe catch Mr. E napping just a little bit. However, Mr. E, man, he's no slouch. He is woke, and he plays like it. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And uh, Weezer, it's uh, 
a bit bold for him to be asking such things of uh, the such as the awareness, the game awareness of Mr. E. But uh, as we have a few more matches coming up next, obviously top talents from the state of New Jersey, I believe Shoyo James is among them. Uh, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of a lot of interesting Fire Emblem characters in this pool. Uh, Shoyo James uh, and Blank, both gonna be really, really good crom mains. Mr. E, of course, obviously with the Martha Lucina. See how the rest of this goes. We're gonna see DDD though as the final choice here. Not super surprising, did pretty well in the first two games. Oh, both hits of the Gordo though, and that's gonna be a fat 44% to take so quickly. Not gonna lie, I, I probably would have popped off if you want Duck Hunt, but nonetheless, uh, DDD, is a character with a flair for the dramatic. Those of you who are familiar with Atomisk certainly know that. The Brawl legend. Exactly. However, uh, this hasn't exactly been uh, DDD's day, as uh, Atomisk already. Uh, I mean, there's so many, so many people, so many upsets, and it's the only. And it's the sort of thing that can only come from Tri-State. It's the the parity across the board of uh, co with competition. And as we're seeing right now, Weezer. Uh, a very good, uh, a very good player in his own right, but maybe not as well known as uh, as a Mr. E. Yeah, really high Doing commitment. Incredibly well. High commitment there oh on the uh, the dash attack. Goes for the grab there and gets dolphin slap for his shovels too. So where things have you know been a little bit like not the best for Weezer is when he's trying to you know oh. push advantage a little bit further than he needs to. Goes for that one one or two like medium, not quite hard reads. Yeah, he doesn't really. Uh, Mr. E doesn't have to do a whole lot special. He needs to take a uh, needs to take a page out of his uh, sometimes double partner to buzz. Just uh, you, you can play the rest of this game relatively unspectacularly and win. Like this, you, all you need are those standard sort of meat and potato stocks. Accumulate that damage and kill. Like it, you don't need highlight real stuff here. No, really? and that's not even like a statement on Weezer, but it really does put the burden. Wow, the Gordo saving the day there. Oh my! Just as I was about to say, Weezer is gonna need something special. He pulls a rabbit right out of his uh, right out of his puff hat. There you go. His poofy red hat. Look at that, man. He's a king. Why does he wear that? Uh, well, it's got the little emblem on the front. I'm assuming that's some form of crown, maybe in the uh, the Dreamland world. Uh, okay, we, fair enough. We not knowing of their customs. <laughs> see how he goes here. It's really, really interesting to see how he's really tried to, like, you know, get back into, like, a winning state right now because Mr. E's really just kept in front of him the entire time and really just using fair and nair to really just push DDD further and further away. Weezer sitting in a... This is uh, not looking great for him, but at the same time, sitting in at 161%, that's a lot of damage that can be piled on very quickly if Mr. Uh -oh. E is yeah. not careful. Uh-oh, the air dodge. No, he will make it back, however. And you haven't seen E really commit to anything off stage, which I really like. You really don't want to try to interact with DDD off stage with the armor and how difficult that can be. But the simple Nair roll distance is going to be enough to do it. And like you said, it's just the ticky tack damage, the really just simplistic play that he can go for at this point with this much of a lead. It's going to be really difficult for a character like DDD who needs those reads to really get in. Yeah, and a full stock advantage right now for Mr. E. He does not often let these slip away. Weezer, I mean, he's shown us, uh, he's definitely shown us something. He is a name to look out for in the coming months in Tri-State. However, does this day belong to Mr. E and his Lucina, the grab in mid-stage and down throw? Looking for the back air, however, Weezer. You know what, You might, if you haven't been there before, you might as well act like you haven't. Yeah, honestly, you know, you never know when you'll be back, so you might as well enjoy it while you can. See, just at roll distance once again, goes for the F smash. But once again, the up oh is going to be enough to kill. So Mr. E not really respecting the armor on that for a second time in this game, but looking at a huge oh. deficit, and that is going to be it. Mr. E with the clean back air from center stage, and is going to advance past the up start. Yeah, Weezer, I mean, really good showing. No, very good showing. May not have earned the win, but definitely earned just a little bit more. Uh, put some respect on that name, Weezer. 